knowing that all power and authority, that all things had been delivered into his hand. Into that hand he took a towel and got down and washed his disciples' feet. A little statement that helped me a great deal in my ministry. Someone said to me, you'll know you're a servant when people start treating you like one. You know if they say, sit thou here in this good place? Well, you haven't arrived yet. And if they say, haven't you straightened the chairs? Haven't you cleaned up the mess in the basement? Well, you know you've arrived. You're a servant now. That's so contrary to the society in which we live. When we're all introduced, the right reverend doctor, this and that, the applause of men, and here he is, isn't this terrific? The whole point is, isn't it? But the greatest one in the world, if we were conscious of him here, we would be ashamed to glory in ourselves. It would look so pathetic, wouldn't it? Last week I was at the Louvre. Can you imagine me taking one of my little drawings and put it up there beside the Mona Lisa and say, well, yes, but what do you think about my art? Oh, well, I couldn't get it off the wall fast enough, could I? And if we were conscious of the glory of God, all glorying in man would just run away, wouldn't it? Because we wouldn't want our glory there at all. That according as it is written, Oh, do glory! Glory, brother! Glory, sister! But glory in the Lord! Not in how many degrees you have. Not in how much money you have. And I'm introduced to more and more Christians that way. You see that fellow over there? He's the vice president of this and that company. Instead of, you see that sister? She's a real prayer warrior. Whether she's working at the sink, driving in the car, she's interceding, and she's giving God the glory for everything that's done. And I dare say, brother and sister, one of the reasons God is not working mightily among us is that if something happens, we take the glory to ourselves. A lot of things not working these days, and we think it's something wrong with the thing that's not working. And so we look around to see where somebody else has something working. We say, well, it's working for them, so maybe it will work for us. Brothers and sisters, it doesn't work. God works. When we give God the glory, oh, be careful. For his glory he will not share with another. If God doesn't get all the glory, well, he'll just leave it to us. And when we're left to ourselves, you see what happens. He that glorious, let him glory in the Lord.